Greetings! Stay in the know with Dr. Now. In a previous show, I mentioned that we had the technology right now to feed all of the people on the planet with an abundance. Today, I'd like to expand on the concept of the automated farm and explore the possibilities of human ingenuity. First, let's look at the current situation and see just what is going on around the world in terms of needing more food. The World Health Organization estimates that one-third of the world is well-fed, one-third is underfed, and one-third is starving. Every day, around 20,000 people die directly from hunger and hunger-related diseases. Let me say that again. I didn't say every year or even every month. Every single day around the world, on average, 20,000 people die from not having enough food. Undeniably, this is a serious problem for the human race. So what are some solutions? One solution that has been presented is vertical farms. A vertical farm is simply a skyscraper that has plants inside instead of apartments or offices. It works just like a giant greenhouse. There would need to be some artificial lighting to help the plants not receiving enough sunlight, but solar panels and wind-powered generators directly on the building could help alleviate this need. And because the environment could be perfectly tailored to the plant's specific needs, crops can be grown all year round. This makes even better use of the area than just stacking does. For example, you could grow 30 times more strawberries in a controlled environment for any given area when compared to the same area outside. Plants struggle to survive outside. They have to deal with severe storms, temperature changes, bugs, and other pests. Inside, they would be treated like kings and encouraged to be as healthy as they could be. These buildings could be built right inside major cities. The freshness of vegetables would see significant increases. And with more and more vertical farms, the land that we used for traditional farming could go back to its natural state. Plowing over acres and acres of wild plants and then growing only corn, for example, is bad for life on our planet all around. This concept is called biodiversity. Without biodiversity, many plants and animals could end up going extinct. So there are many, many reasons for building vertical farms all over the world. But wait, it gets even better. Imagine what we could do if the vertical farm was automated. Do farmers today plant each seed by hand? Do they water each plant with a watering can? Do they harvest all the wheat on foot? Of course not. There are machines that do this now. Plants don't tend to move around that much, and every single one is usually the same shape. This allows for things like combine harvesters to simply be driven in straight lines back and forth over the field. Machines were made for this kind of repetitive labor. Once the relevant requirements for light, nutrients, temperature, and everything else a specific plant might need to flourish, automated systems could then handle planting seeds, watering, and harvesting any plant. And if it was all housed inside a building where the machines were also protected from the elements, they would be that much better equipped to handle all the work. If we put our heads together and forgot about profit, we could create these automated food factories everywhere. I can hear people grumbling, who's going to build all this, huh? Well, who else? We are. Don't we want to end world hunger? Imagine if you could have access to fresh food whenever you wanted. Imagine the amount of stress and crime that would be reduced. I hear that in America, about 10% of the population is looking for work. And I hear it's even worse in other countries. The U.S. government alone has spent about $900 billion from taxes over the last eight years on war. Imagine what kind of world we would be in right now if the people who make the decisions decided to use that money to build automated farms instead. What would your reaction be to the President of the United States saying, why don't we, Why show, don't the we show the world what Americans, what Americans are capable, are capable of? of? And end and world and hunger once and for all! Starting, Starting right, right now. now! The critics of vertical farms mention energy consumption as being the biggest obstacle. This is ridiculous. Energy is everywhere. An easy way to make energy is to force water to turn a generator. This was first harnessed with water mills. The water current spun the wheel on the outside, and on the inside of the building, gears would power a contraption that would grind grain into flour, with very little human labor. 
Then someone figured out that hot steam turned the wheel much faster, and steam locomotives were invented. Today, a coal or a gas power plant simply uses coal or gas to heat their water into steam. The steam then turns large turbines that generate electricity. Nuclear power is the same. They heat water with a process called nuclear fission. It's a high-tech word that boils down to just heating water, no pun intended. What if there was a way to heat water into steam without having to burn things like coal and oil or without having to mess with radioactive waste? Well, due to recent innovations, geothermal power has become one of the most promising sources of power we have access to on this planet. Below the Earth's crust is a very hot core of molten rock and metal. Geothermal power is energy harvested from steam just as the same as the others. The difference is the steam is created by sending water down into the Earth very far, where it is heated and turned into steam. No other fuel is needed. Research has shown that there is enough energy from this source alone to power the entire world for thousands of years. With this and all the other sources of energy we have on this planet, finding the power to end world hunger is just a matter of priority. That's all for today. If you want to talk about ways we might be able to change our world for the better, check out the Zeitgeist Movement at thezeitgeistmovement.com. Thanks for watching!